Hey guys, my name is Joey, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a sports edit for mostly beginners in Photoshop CS5. The photo you see here is the one I'm going to be editing in this video. First off, you're going to want to find your photo that you'll edit. Once you find the right photo, you can then drag it into Photoshop at the bottom, and you can begin editing it. Then you will hit Command J on that layer to duplicate the same photo. Find another image that will be your third layer, like I have for my Oregon O. You can then drag that image into Photoshop, where you can begin editing. Once you have this image, you will then click the eyeball next to the layer, and we will work on it later. Click on the Quick Selection tool and you can begin highlighting your player that will pop out from the rest of the image. Once you have your player highlighted, you can then hit select and hit inverse. That will select everything but the player and then you will hit delete. If you hit the eyeball for the other image, you will then see what you have deleted from your photo. Click the eyeball once again on that layer, go to image adjustments and you will hit black and white that will give you the background and then go to present and hit maximum black to give you a better look and hit OK. Hit the controls command D that will then deselect everything. We will now be editing your third layer so you will click the eyeball on the O and then move it up to the very front so it's in front of everything and you'll do the quick selection tool and begin clicking on it everything that you won't want, like all the white space in the back. You will then hit the delete button to remove the white space. Once that is done, you can then move that layer behind the first to get the symbol behind your player. If you want to crop that image, you can hit Command T. That will give you control and then you can make it to the size you want. After that, you can then click the third layer, go to that button right there, and hit soft light so then the gradient will then be able to come through the back. Create a new layer and move that to the bottom. This will be your gradient fill. You can then change your colors to what team you have selected. When you're done with that you will hit the gradient tool on the left hand side and then you'll begin experimenting with different ways that you want your colors to be. This actually kind of took me a while because I switched the colors up and everything and try to get like the, a good feel for my picture. Once you've figured out what you have done for the gradient, you can now move on to the O I have. You don't have to do this, but if you liked it in my final copy that you saw, you can do it if you want. So you'll select that layer and go to that little button in the top I have, and then you can begin clicking on the different uh, selections they have. It's not always gonna turn out with each color, like the green and yellow I have, so you can just experiment with all those too and see which one looks right. For mine, I selected the hard light and I think that looked the best. That is the end of this tutorial. I hope your edit turned out well. This is one of the first videos I've made on this channel and I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a like or a comment and I'd like to make more of these tutorials in the future. Thanks for watching.